After the events of 9-11, I enlisted in the Army National Guard. My father was in the Marines, and my grandfather was in the Army in World War II. So to me, it was really a no-brainer to, you know, to raise my hand and, and get called. It was hard. It was definitely hard, him being gone. I remember Sammy saying that his dad was going to get the bad guy. Every night, I'd always say a prayer for him and say, like, Dad, I hope you don't get hurt, and I hope you come home. And we'll always say that stuff every night. We were patrolling an area in Baghdad that was um, a hot spot for IEDs and um, car bombs. We had seen one. We were going to try and come up on its side to see where the trigger man would have to be hiding. And we must have walked right on top of him, and he just uh, let it go. He, he detonated it. My husband has very big arms, and the whole front of it was gone. And he held it up. He was like, pretty bad, right? I told him it wasn't bad. It was pretty bad. I was a little worried that he was injured, but I was just even more happy that he was home because, like, some people don't have their parents to come home. I went through a real bad bout of uh, depression. I probably lost uh, a good year and a half just being miserable. There's a thousand things that you just, you don't even, you know, you don't even think about um, to try and do with one hand. He'd be laying on the couch, he'd be just sitting there like a lump. To see someone that was always so driven all of a sudden just sit back and let everything pass him by, that was definitely hard. And nothing I did was gonna help him get over what he was dealing with inside. I knew it was a problem, I just wasn't sure how to fix it. Now we're gonna introduce our amazing athletes from the New York National Guard and the Fighting 69 was wounded by an IED blast while on patrol just outside the green zone of Baghdad. Please welcome the father of two, Sam Young. A good buddy of mine, we were talking and he was like, hey, you gotta check out the Challenge Athletes Foundation. And um, I went to the website and I saw the program for Operation Rebound. I submitted the application and uh, there on the other line was Nico. He said, I want to be a part of this. This isn't just an organization that I apply to for a grant, and they give me something, and then that's it. This is something I can really be a part of, network with other troops. You know, as macho as you think you are, and that you're a, you know, a US soldier, and you're a fighting machine, this particular fight, you can't do alone. Yes! Yes! When he started racing, I felt that he had a lot more confidence in himself, and he felt a lot more happier. I felt a lot more happier. Everyone was happy. Sam now does the triathlons, and he's got the most fantastic circle of friends. Every time I see them, I thank them. Like, they changed our lives. With the physical wounds come a lot of psychological, emotional, invisible wounds. And so we have a lot of resources at our disposal through our network to help there as well. It's definitely helped me uh, just kind of work through some of the stuff in my own head. Without it, I don't know how I would uh, really be functioning right now. be near death and come back home and be able to, you know, be with your family. and It just makes you appreciate life in general just that much more. I feel so lucky. It taught me that my family is a gift. It taught me that every day is a gift. My dad is like a big role model to me. He's just so, so inspirational. He's probably one of the most best guys I've ever met.